So let's see how they all line up on the grid for this sprint race. The Netherlands on pole position, as we've seen in your own Blake and Mollen, putting in that stunning lap in qualifying to make sure of it, using power boost to good effect. But alongside him, on the dirtiest side of the track, Team Portugal's Philippe Albuquerque. And then right behind, the reigning series title holders, Switzerland with Monaco. Great effort from Team Monaco. Clivio Piccioni starting in fourth. India and Ireland are back on the third row of the grid, ahead of France. Nicholas Prost driving there. South Africa, host nation, are eighth. Then Malaysia and Italy. Germany making their comeback starting 11th ahead of New Zealand, then Great Britain and Brazil, China and Mexico towards the back of the grid. We've got Team USA and Lebanon and then Australia and Indonesia. So the drivers now really working those tyres to try and clean them up, to try and get a little bit of tyre temperature up as they pass the stands down at that back section of the circuit. And then the leaders are already coming through the tight chicane. Those plastic cones bolted down to the apex. Saw the chairman of uh, A1GP on the right there as he watches to see these guys move into position. Yeah, there's quite a long gap between the lead car and the tail of the field. And again, a couple of practice starts from Netherlands and from Portugal. Portugal anxious, I think, to make sure that they didn't suffer the same problem. They were just delayed coming off the line as the cars made their way on this final formation lap. But Netherlands brings it up onto that full position, must park the car very accurately indeed, otherwise if it does move, it could be a penalty. We're getting all ready then for the sprint race for the GoGP.org A1GP of Hao Teng. The last few cars are moving up into position and this famous circuit, seeing A1GP in action for the first time. The support is for Team South Africa, they're starting from eighth, but up front it's the orange car of the Netherlands. The green and red machine of Team Portugal, but also sitting in there, the reigning champions in third. That's Team Switzerland, of course, and Neil Yarni. You can always expect fireworks from him. He made a great start last time out in Taupo in New Zealand. Engine revs rise. Lights on. Lights out. Away we go. Great start from the Netherlands. Good start from Switzerland trying to get alongside Portugal. And I think Neil Yarni has got up into second place as they go down into turn one. But your own Blake of Ireland, an absolutely perfect getaway from Portugal. They really had to do, got the start, and Switzerland night race following through behind that Netherlands car. Ireland trying to go around the outside of turn three, coming up into turn four. Everybody jostling for position, trying to find space, trying to find a way of getting alongside another car. But the Netherlands charging out in front already with Switzerland in second position, and India on the charge as well. Remember, Team India, their best qualified performance of the year so far. Narain Kartikeyan sitting there in fourth place at the moment. But look, Russell, what the fun did he get up there? Well, he started fifth, remember, he used power boost in qualifying and he's now trying to make the most of this first lap. He's putting the pressure on Portugal. And, and also Ireland doing the same at Monaco. Monaco, they started alongside Switzerland on second row of the grid, but they got Ireland breathing all over the back of the car. Yeah, Clivia Piccioni didn't make such a good start. It was another very good getaway by Neil Yarni, who's got the starting technique for this Ferrari-powered car down to a fine art. We're riding on board with the, the host nation. It's on board with Adrian Zaug as he comes into the mine shaft. It's fast sweeping left hander 240 k's per hour hard on the brakes down two gears and then into turn 13 Malaysia trying to make up some places if possible on this opening lap but Faraz Fauzi not able to do so they're all strung along in a long line at the moment no problems on this first lap so far no and it's going to be very much I think follow my leader until the field settles down a few cars drivers looking dialing out Faraz Fauzi having a look down the inside just no way too short a straight between that chicane and down into turn 15. The end of the first lap, and Netherlands uh, leading, and Monaco on attack, and trying to get past Team India. Piccioni trying to make the move, but he just couldn't make it. And that may give Ireland a minute back again. Piccioni comes back, dies up the inside, and what a great move. I've never seen aggression from Piccioni like this. Monaco have got a good car, and Piccioni is making 100% use of it. He did make great use of it. That was clever driving, and now Adam Carroll's going to try and cart past India as well. Team Ireland down the inside, and he's done it. Adam pa Carroll gains the place. He used Power boost to do that, got alongside on that relatively short straight. Team Ireland in the pitch, they're happy with that move. And Naren Kothakan lost two places in one lap. So great effort from uh, Adam Carroll. Also a good move from Clivia Piccioni. Let's look back at this, John. I'm assuming, again, coming into turn one, but going into turn two, advantage back to India. But then Piccioni gets out the drive off the corner. Ireland try to follow through. They have to wait a little bit later to do so. Here's the move from Ireland on power boost. Up into turn five, this is Sunset Corner. India had to concede, 
speed of the Irish car in the inside, took the track, and two places dropped for India in the second half. So it's Netherlands still leading the race. Switzerland in second position. There's the gap. Look at the gap. Massive. You're wrong. Blake Mullen has opened up over Team Switzerland, Portugal, then it's Monaco in fourth, Ireland in fifth. The reason why is... Oh, I need a mistake. Sorry, John. Bit of a mistake from Carter Kenny. May lose another place here. Well, he's just about to get to South Africa all over the back of him coming into turn 15. But the fastest lap at Netherlands, 129.6 as he's gone across. 131 for Switzerland, 131 for Portugal. Netherlands are running two seconds a lap quicker than the rest of this field. And India's holding up the whole line. Look at them all trying to get past the blue car of Team India. And it's Adrian Zell of South Africa who is the next in line. And it's his job to try and pass before anyone else can. Uh, behind them, we've still got France in the mix there as well. Malaysia and Italy with uh, New Zealand in 11th place. But all of them stacking up behind the blue car of Team India. Well, they all lose momentum as the pace of the India car dictates the pace, pace of the rest of this field. Ireland had to get through, they did it. That's Livia Pacuni from Monaco had to do it, he did it as well. But running behind India now with the South Africa in seventh place is going to be a lot more difficult. Here's the start. start. Yeah, let's just take a look. It was a good one from Neil Yarny to squeeze up into second place. Now, what was going on behind? India just managed to get a front of the Monaco. Yeah, so Monaco, and then Monaco are really the loser out of that. Ireland held station, but it took them a lap to establish where they had the strengths. The user coming through turn two into turn three, and then for Ireland getting past into, into turn five. Good start by Adrian Zaug, actually, for South Africa. He started eight, he gained one there, so that was a, a useful getaway from him. Meanwhile, New Zealand, the Black Beauty, coming under pressure from China. Hoping Tung crashed the car, and he's going to go for it! Down the inside! Oh, that was a great lunge, I think he's done it! He saw it from the on-ball camera! He's and gone he's, away with it! He's, he's no, he did No, no, he's gone, dropped back again, John. Look, the China car. So what quite happened there, he got past briefly, but only too briefly, and he's back behind him again. Well, it's very, a very busy racetrack again, watching down the inside. Danny Watts for Great Britain, defending from Brazil. Brazil's car, of course, having to go through major surgery to get that car repaired after the big stunt in the second feature qualifying. That's right, both China and Brazil suffering accidents on the Saturday, and there's Ho Pintar, and he's been told to go for it, and he did go for it. Look down the inside, this is what happened. Just overshot the corner, too tight, too early, and opened the door once again. Well, Bamber and New Zealand now goes to the middle of the route to defend. Somebody kicked up the dust coming out of turn four. We didn't see who that is. Meanwhile, Malaysia has got past France. Uh, uh, yeah, just a change position there. But uh, Malaysia has managed to nip past in the Nicolas Prost. There's Italy in behind. That is for eighth place. Malaysia now in eighth position. So Nicolas Prost down to ninth place for Team France. So needing to score some points if possible. But so they're just outside the points there. You only get points down to 8th position in this sprint race, down to 10th place in the longer feature race that we'll see later. Now remember, we're going to be seeing some pit stops fairly soon. They've done three laps. Next time round, they'll have done four. And then after that, they can make their first pit stop. On board, uh, though, with Team China, hoping Tung is still attacking. And they're down the hill and everybody just running in extra nothing they can do. Just wait for a mistake. We saw that dive down the inside oh. again, doesn't he? He tries to force the issue. Earl Bamber wisely gave him that little bit of extra room to enable them to get through the corner without contact. Again, defending that position from China. New Zealand in 11th, China in 12th. Yeah, good attack, but uh, New Zealand's little mistake there from Obama. But as you say, he gave space. China now makes a mistake, and he might let Germany through if he's not careful. That's Michael Ammermuller from Germany right behind, and he's gone alongside as they and come over the they're line. They're both on par boost. So <laughs> both are defending. Well, one's defending, one's attacking. Both have to back off again, coming through turn two. Oh, I hope Intung did well there to, to be quick on the power boost button and protect his position because he made a mistake in attacking New Zealand. And by doing so, and Lebanon again in trouble. Well, they are having a miserable time. We've seen great pace from Daniel Moran, but no luck whatsoever. It really is a great shame, but uh, meanwhile, the action on track, the pit stop is... The window is open, that means next time we'll be seeing pit stops uh, as they come around. So they're not coming in just yet, though. As you see, Team China still trying to protect position from Germany, and Great Britain on the attack. Well, a mistake from Alan Muller coming through turn six, and uh, Danny Watt saw that try to attack, but the defence from Germany precluded any opportunity. Up front is still the Dutch car leading the lead, John. is up to 5.1 seconds, a massive lead from Jeroen Blakemolen, but we're watching this little tussle going on as Germany tries to defend from Great Britain the cars are sliding around, it's exactly what we talked about, the tyres just sliding around more now, and into the pits comes the race leader. And I just wonder what set of tyres that the Netherlands used to give them their benefit they were able to run two seconds initially quicker than the rest of the field, I think they had a fresh set of tyres, if not a new set of tyres for the start of the race race for Jerome Blackwell. 
Netherlands in, Switzerland in, but Portugal stay out. So do Monaco, I think. And the... Ireland as well. Yeah, so we have a new race leader in Portugal as the pit stops begin to be made. They don't all have to stop on the same lap, and actually they prefer not to because they need a bit of space in the pit lane. The guys all come out of the pit box, and that's a good stop.